description of the hardcover book is that it's a, an embossed red leatherette and it's an eight color, so the blacks are super black, it's super rich, all of the images have a, a lacquer on the top of them so they just pop off the page. It's highly saturated in color. And then the, the soft cover edition that's coming out, it's the same 396 pages, the same nearly 500 photographs, and it's the same high color print job. All the images have that beautiful lacquer uh, finish on every image so they pop off the page, it's absolutely gorgeous. When I came out with my first book, it had to be perfect in every way, and I'm so happy with the soft cover because it's also a super luxe. Just so very pleased to be working with Hal Leonard. They're a first class company. They make beautiful books. Uh, they they uh, make beautiful guitar books and beautiful instrument books. Uh, their tab books are top quality. They're just a fantastic publisher all the way around, and they're a perfect fit. For, uh, for this book, and it's uh, a little bit smaller, it's very easy to, to handle and, and work through, and it's affordable for everyone, so it's very cool. Hal Leonard rocks. Hal Leonard's well known for publishing the best guitar subject titles um, in the world, and it's arguably the most beautiful, well-designed collection of guitar photography put into a single volume ever. We're really happy to be associated with the book and to be publishing this book and pleased to have the association with Lisa. Why guitars for me? Uh, because music means that much to me and that instrument moves me. My childhood was strongly influenced by a lot of music. My father played multiple instruments and my mom has to this day an incredible voice. We played a lot of Johnny Cash, Marty Stewart, Marty Robbins, um, of course Willie Nelson, and uh, so you know I got a really good cross section of, of a lot of country music growing up. And then my my friends all listened to classic rock. We used to blast Boston and and uh, Fleetwood Mac, Led Zeppelin, you know. So that was really my roots was country and rock, classic rock. You know, my, my parents got divorced when I was 10, and so I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my dad, and I always wanted to find ways to connect with my dad. And so he played the guitar, and he loved photography. And I ended up moving to Florida, uh, working for a photo lab down there, and I still knew that I needed to go to college. And I didn't know what I wanted to go to college for. So I, well, I, I ended up meeting this girl that was going to photography college. And it, I realized then, every to where I drove around, I would see a billboard, I would look at magazines. There was an image. An image, image tells a story. Photography would be a great career. This girl's on to it. I'm gonna go to college for photography too. I ended up getting a job with Eastman Kodak Company. And I kept thinking too that this would impress my dad. And I knew that he loved photography and I knew that he would be very happy if I went to work for a Fortune 500 company, which it was at that time. The guitar photography uh, became the niche because I met Joyce Tennyson in New York City uh, as a Kodak rep there. Uh, she was one of my clients. And she really influenced me and, and taught me you have to pick a signature style in photography so that you really hone your craft and you really become good at that one thing. And, and you, you create a style that, that becomes your own that can't easily be copied. So it was your original work. And uh, that led me to the, just the falling in love with photographing guitars because I, I loved the shape that I saw in my viewfinder. And I could hear that guitar in my viewfinder. I could smell that guitar as I was photographing it. And then when I saw the pictures, the shape of it, the curves, the sexiness of, of the guitar and the beauty of the wood and the, the craftsmanship and what's left behind on the guitar, you know, there's, there's grit, there's dust underneath the strings often. Uh, there's nicks and scratches on the guitar, on the front and on the back that rarely you ever get to see the back of the guitar. I just fell in love with photographing guitars. I, I wanted to continue to see that through my viewfinder and in, a, in a unique way that made the guitar look sexy, that evoked an emotion, that, that would give a hint of the soul. Of, of the guitar and, and perhaps the player. 
and it just is something that I have felt compelled to do. Another really unique thing about this book is that it is uh, a history of guitars. It's also the history of photographic processes starting in uh, 1996 time frame. Uh, so all of the last films that were ever made for Kodak Professional are, are represented in this book. So there's color negative film, and, uh, color infrared film, black and white film, and then it transitions into digital. I, I believe it'll make readers really feel something and enjoy something that's unique and different than seeing a, a regular mugshot of a guitar. It's, it's nice to be able to see a whole guitar up and down that's, that's flat. Uh, this is really moving in and showing the curves and the angles and the, the nicks and scratches, the wear and tear that personify the artist because the artist is not the image. However, they are because of what they leave behind on the guitar. And that makes this a unique read. It's something unique and different.